right, Pisces, we're going to look into new love. If you guys need anything, check out that description. Let's jump into it. New love for Pisces, universe, spirit, gods, and angels. This card says infinite potential. Trust in the process. I can also see that some of you could be trying to really recharge, whether this be doing like self-care, retreating, going on vacation, chilling by the pool, taking a nap, watching a movie, reading a book, whatever it is. But there is something here where somebody's about to be coming in or somebody that you've recently had come into your life. There's a very strong connection where you feel very safe with this person and you feel like that there is potential here. I do see that there could be something coming up, Pisces, where you're going to be at a crossroads. Needing to trust in the process, but also have to choose a path. I'm seeing a lot of recharging energy. So for a lot of you, you're definitely recharging in some sense, form, or fashion. Give me more for new love. More for new love. Somebody could also be in the hermit energy right now. Somebody could be having money issues, but there is some sort of romance. <laughs> could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. It doesn't have to be. There could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus who is having envy over some sort of possibilities that you have. Somebody that feels that they have an attachment to you, but you could have taken some sort of action to heal away from them. This could be somebody from your past, guys. We're going to just go ahead and call it. I feel like there's a lack of clarity with this person. Again, they could have had financial restraints, but they do have some sort of envy for how strong you are. And maybe, I feel like there's an energy here where they're envious of how strong you are and how you were able to let go of the attachment in the sense of where you felt very tied up to them, this connection and this love. I feel like there's a sense of chaos and a never ending, like how much chaos can this bring? I feel like it really made you reevaluate your heart and what you wanted and who you were willing to give your heart to, which then made you grow as a person, which has then brought this in. Okay, very interesting how that come in. So let's get for this connection. So this new love coming in. I just heard hello, hello. Okay. Um, very strong connection. Again, to a point where you feel very safe with this person. You feel like this person makes you very happy and vice versa. There's also a curious energy I'm picking up on. Where you're both very curious about each other and what you can manifest together. Trusting in the process, but maybe wanting to get to know each other or dive into this deeper. Somebody could be 33 or 34. They don't have to be. But there is a curiosity. I'm also seeing an energy here where it's like we're getting into one world out of another. So there's an energy for either you or this new love where somebody is letting an old seed die so new things can come. So what I mean by that is someone's fully releasing the things that no longer serve them, whether this be connections, mindsets, ways of being, thoughts, not wanting to set fear aside and go for something. But there's an energy here where, again, there's curiosity, there's a safeness, there's wanting to get to know each other more, being very happy, it's fun, I'm hearing a lot of laughter. But again, curiosity. And somebody's saying, okay, I need to let the things that I know no longer serve me go because it's time to let something new in. It's time to open this doorway. Yeah, but there is an energy where somebody needs to make sure that they're not setting their sights solely on the end journey, that they're also enjoying the moments that they're going through. Somebody could be feeling lonely. You don't have to be, but I am picking up that somebody could be feeling lonely before this comes in. Yeah, be curious. Again, curious, curiosity. Something's about to surprise you, Pisces. Whether it be something this person's about to do or this person in general. So, this could be a relationship getting repaired for some of you. It doesn't have to. For some of you, this is just a healing connection. A tenderness. It's restoring harmony 
again, in maybe the chaos that some people have brought into your life. There's a lot of compassion and love with this new person as well. I feel like this could be a soulmate. I'm getting soulmate vibes, not twin flame vibes. Um, I do feel like somebody could be overthinking. There could be a gap at this moment between someone's thoughts and someone's emotions. Someone's having a hard time navigating this. Somebody could be worried that somebody's not getting truth and clarity or that somebody could be playing mind games. But again, there's an energy here of going with the flow, trusting, seeing that there's potential. And I feel like just be communi- be com I do not know the word. Communicate. 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 Something could happen on Sunday, Pisces. On a Sunday. Give me more for this new love. Give me more for this new love connection for Pisces. Keep an open mind. Okay. So, whoever this is, the soulmate that's coming in could differ from maybe your usual type or what you're expecting to be your soulmate in general. But I, I'm hearing you're going to know who it is because you're going to see amazing potential with this person and you're going to feel safe with this person. There's going to be a sense of curiosity and wanting to explore with this person. Give me one more. Very soon. Very soon decide what you want. Because somebody's going to come in and I feel like they're going to catch feelings very quickly. Whether it be you or this other person. Somebody's going to catch feelings. But you need to decide what you're wanting. And again, I feel like they're wanting you to trust and have faith. That the reason it feels so safe is because it's meant. It's meant for you to be in this. And I also see again that you guys are in separation from somebody. And in that, it's like you're learning or you've learned that you deserve love. And in that, you've called in your soulmate. You've called in this person. You could have different backgrounds, whether this be religious backgrounds, ways of growing up. Um, Y'all could live in different parts of the world. You could have grew up in different parts of the world. Something here. For some of you, this will definitely be somebody coming back where things didn't necessarily get off the ground. There was a curious energy. We're curious, but there's still a lot that's unknown. It's not going to get anywhere. Um, that person could be coming back, but I do not feel like it's an ex. Let me say that right here, because some of you want to act like this is a personal reading, and it ain't. Okay, so it's either new love or it's someone that you've known where there was a curious energy, but it didn't get off the ground. And if that's the case, you've turned your back on this person. Yeah. And they could have definitely been thinking about you since then. Seeing the initial M. I just seen a T. I just seen a C. What do I have? Give me more for this new love. Sudden wealth. This person could be some sort of official person. Somebody here is having money troubles. And they're concerned. They're concerned about something. I feel like whoever this new person is has a lot going on. They could be going through court in some sense, form, or fashion for you. This doesn't have to just be like divorce court or court for children. This could be driving court. This could be anything. Thief. They could be dealing with a thief or someone who's trying to stick. Okay, this is interesting. So they have somebody in their life, Pisces, whoever this new love is. They're concerned about somebody in their life that they feel like is a th false person. Someone that could be in bad health that they feel kind of in prison to. But there's some sort of stealing here where I feel like they they either hold on. They either feel like their time, their money, their attention, something they feel like has been stolen from them. But it's somebody that they don't feel like is necessarily 
an honest person. So for some of you, they could be worried about you meeting someone that they could be tied to or someone that they have to deal with. That's only going to be for some of you. That was really random. Okay, let's get tarot. New love. What do I have? How does this person view Pisces right this moment? How does this person view Pisces right this moment? Record. 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 Somebody can have a record. Or they could be. A record breaker that's interesting okay how do they view Pisces at this moment I just heard you're different how do they view Pisces right this moment shenanigans okay so they view you as someone that's walked away from some sort of heartbreak or something that should have defeated them but it didn't they view you as someone who's still willing to collaborate but maybe you do better collaborating on your own they see that you're someone that's very strong and you move forward from a sense of feeling sad and disappointed to get what you want and what you deserve. So whoever this person is, they have really good thoughts about you. Give me more for this person. How does this new love see Pisces right this moment? But they're going back and forth. They can also see you as maybe having a lot of options, unsure what you want from your future or who you even want. They see you as someone that's very emotionally giving and nurturing. But maybe you're only giving and nurturing to yourself and your own stability and the things that you build. Give me more. How does this person view Pisces? So this person views you as someone who you could be very discontent sometimes in your life. Very pessimistic. But they also view you as someone who moves forward very quickly. Wow, you just popped out as the empress. And this person is very curious how you're single or how they have the ability to offer you something. This person is worried that you could be a little hard to please, I feel as well, because why are you single? That's kind of what I'm getting. They also see that you have made your emotional fulfillment on your own and you've transformed your own environment. Again, there's something here where either they know this about you or they will know about you that you've been through some sort of heartbreak and you've moved your life out of a season of where things were really rocky to a sense of peace and you're not willing to go back. But again, they do view you as someone who maybe they're, they're scared you're going to juggle them or you might not accept their offer. They're also worried that you could di get discontent with them as a whole. Huh. How do they view this connection overall? Five of Cups. So they're just mutual. They're not sad. They're not disappointed. They're very attracted to you. They want to collaborate with you. So they're mutual. Okay. So it's kind of the energy where it's like, I really like being around you. I'm really attracted to you. I have fun with you. I feel like this person really controls their emotions and what they say when they're around you as well. But they're stuck. They feel like they might need to change their perception before they can come in very quickly towards you. They've been waiting to approach you. I'm getting nervous. That's interesting. So this person's getting nervous about approaching you. What is this Five of Cups? Wow. They have a lot of emotion for you, Pisces. They view this connection as something that makes them very passionately sparked. There's creativity that comes out of nowhere when they're around you. There's also secret emotions you don't know about that this person has for you or will have for you. I feel like when they're not around you, they're very sad and disappointed. But again, there's, a, there's an energy here where I'm unsure what Pisces would even accept. In their eyes, you're a little out of their reach. And I'm not sure exactly why. Why does this person feel that Pisces is out of their reach? Because maybe in their eyes, you've already built a sense of emotional fulfillment. You already have a sense of stability. And they're unsure on how they're going to be able to fit in it. 
how can I put myself or how will Pisces fit me in their life? They're also unsure maybe you two don't have the same values, morals. So this is someone where maybe you guys haven't had super deep talks yet. Huh. Give me more. How's this person feeling for Pisces? I feel like you're my wish fulfillment. I feel like I want to take you out and get to know you more. Enjoy the time with you. Enjoy your company. But this person's having a hard time making a choice to come in and ask you out. Moving this into a different direction. They're at a crossroads. So that's telling me that if they haven't asked you out yet, they will be very soon. Something can happen in the fall. Around October. For some of you. It could be something where you feel like this person's selfish and you might have to stand your ground. There could be a fight with this person in October if you're still with them. Give me more for their unspoken feelings and thoughts. Or there could be some sort of cycle that they're having a hard time ending. And in October, somebody here is going to be like, listen, you stand your ground or I'm going to stand my ground. Which one are we doing? That's kind of the energy I'm getting. Give me more for their unspoken feelings. Yeah, I want to change and transform this. They're trying to use their intuition. They're feeling very sad and disappointed. So that's very interesting. That's the energy we have up there. I'm very attracted to you. You know, it's interesting to me because for some of you, this person views you as the person that's stuck. Set in their ways. You would need to change your perspective before you could invest with them. Maybe you're happy where you're at. Maybe you don't even want love. Maybe you don't want me. Hmm. What's the challenge of this new love coming together? Someone's healing. Someone's letting go of the past and letting go of some sort of memories that's been holding on to them. Something that they could have had in their life for a long time or a foundation that they had once built or wanted to build. But there's a healing here. Oh, wow, I have that song singing in my head. I told you I change even when I knew I never could. So somebody has been dealing with somebody from their past that said that they were going to change or they hoped they were going to change. Somebody that they felt was a strong connection, but it's like it never happened. Somebody's healing from that and letting it go. As they're doing that, this new love's wanting to come in and change and transform this and ask you out and go enjoy time with you. But there's still a healing here happening. And it's like whoever that person was from the past, that person only said that to keep you there. Yeah. <laughs> to keep you there. And I feel like in, they had a wall up regardless. Okay. So give me more for this current challenge. Someone's needing to have the strength to go towards a new beginning. Okay. Which is happening. Someone's going in a, a season where they're having more fun with their family, their friends. They're enjoying their time to their self. You're going to have a lot of people coming out of the woodworks wanting to flirt with you, offer you love, collaborate with you. I feel like they're telling you to be cautious on who you actually invest in. Because there is going to be some people coming back from the past. But there's also some people that's definitely getting their karma for how they treated you. And you've leveled up, Pisces. But here's the thing. Somebody's conflicted because they want to come in towards you. You're the empress, which means that you're a little out of their league, in my personal opinion, based on how I'm reading these cards. You're moving forward, and you're moving towards connections that fulfill you, that you feel were destined connections. You've changed your perspective when it comes to whoever that person was that was holding you back, and it's because they weren't willing to make a choice. Well, this person's realizing that they've, they've hoped for you. This is an ex or someone who wasn't willing to come in. And as the seasons are shifting and changing, things are now going in your favor. And I feel like they're spying, yeah, manifesting and wanting something more. Now, for some of you, again, that could be this person coming in. But I just feel like that could be that ex that you're healing from or letting go. And it don't even have to be an ex. It could have been somebody that you thought you were going to have something with. Having the strength to go towards a new beginning and saying, no more, I'm not doing this. And boy, let me tell you, when you went, you went quick. You went straight your ass to a brand new beginning. I just heard I ain't got nothing to lose. You don't want to be with me. I'm leaving. Like, I'm not begging for you to love me or for you to show me what I know that I deserve. And whoever this reading is for, they get a lot of attention. And somebody's ready to come in and give everything and more. 
the moon, you don't see it coming. It could be a Pisces, but you could just not see that this person really, really wants to collaborate with you in a way that you want. Yeah, this person wants to go out and have fun with you, celebrate with you. But again, there's an energy here where somebody could be in an energy where they're still a little scared and um, timid because we're still reflecting on the past. We're still mourning, letting all of that go. And sometimes there could be things where things get triggered and it's like, why is this coming up? There's still things we need to let go and heal. And that's what's happening. So give me more for this new love. What is this new love hiding and keeping to their self? I want to bring in an offer of love. I want to balance this out and make the choice. Okay, so this is interesting. For some of you, this is that person that didn't want to make a choice, ready to come in and finally make the choice. For some of you, this isn't. This is somebody wanting to come in and make a choice to balance things out with you and bring you an offer of love and complete a cycle. And for you, that's a completion of cycle of you dealing with people who come in and just won't make the choice to give you a solid offer, who always feel like they need to change their perspective or, well, I don't know. There's an energy here of you finally using your intuition and saying, listen, I know what I'm worth and I know what I'm going to get. And if you can't match my effort and my energy, you don't deserve my effort and my energy. And that's kind of intimidating for whoever this new person is. But I feel like it's for a good cause for you, Pisces, because you're protecting yourself like you've never protected yourself before. I'll be damned if I'm getting juggled. I'll be damned if you're coming in and taking my transformation and what I've worked so hard on and benefiting from it when you don't deserve it. But whoever this is, they want to come in and bring balance. They want to make the decisions that could have been hard for other people to make. And the decision is to bring you an offer of love and say, hey, you're worth it. Hey, I want to take this action and I want to show you that I want to build some sort of stability here with you. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. This person does want to come in and be vulnerable towards you. For some of you, this is that person that had fear on taking a new beginning and they're going to come in and tell you that they had fear on taking a new beginning. But again, they want to come in and be vulnerable. There's a sense of being sad and disappointed. But again... With new love, this is not somebody you've dated. This is somebody that it just didn't work out and we never made it to that point. But for a lot of you, this is new. This is someone saying, listen, I'm going to I'm gonna complete the cycle. I'm going to come in. I'm going to give you everything that you've wanted and you've hoped for. You don't have to look anymore. I'm here. The star, a wish coming true. That's divinely guided. I feel like this person is divinely guided. And again, I feel like there's an energy here of them balancing out the things that you've always asked from other people but never could seem to get. And it's like just when you go to build your own stability and you quit focusing or worrying about someone else bringing you a pinnacle, that's when somebody goes, hey, I want to offer you a whole pinnacle. I want to give you everything. I want to invest with you. I want to build something with you. And then you need to use your intuition. I feel like then somebody could come in 55 hot. It could be an ex bringing in an apology towards you, somebody you walked away from, somebody you're on your last leg with, they could come in and want to invest with you. Um, but I feel like they're asking you to use your intuition on who can give you the stability and what you want from your future. And that's what you have to ask yourself. When people come to us and they show us attention and they want to invest with us, that's all fond and dandy. It's fine. But you have to then look past the things that you don't necessarily see and ask yourself and listen to yourself and trust your gut when you say, can this person give me the life that I want? Do they treat me the way that I want to be treated? Do they see the good sides of me? Or are they the kind of person who's always pointing the bad side out of me? Are they the person that's always making me wonder why I'm not enough or why they're not answering the phone? Does this person bring out my insecurities? Because if they do, they might just not be for you. And I hate to say it, but it's the truth. And I do get for some of you, you could have two people. One of them could come back in when they find out that you're getting attention from somebody else. But again, there's a safeness here of you being like, you've never not wanted to pick me all along. You've never questioned if you wanted me, which is going to make you want this new person even more. Because they're not going to make you an option. They're not even going to make you a question. Look at this. And the Empress is like, I'm walking away from the things that make me feel like I'm sad and disappointed and like what I want from emotional fulfillment isn't enough. I'm done investing in those people and those connections that say, well, I can't give that to you. Okay, well, that's fine. I'll go get it elsewhere. 
It's just like going to Walmart and trying to pick up hamburger meat. If they don't got it, what do we do? We go our butt to another store. Same for people. If you can't give me what I need, it isn't to be mean. It's to say, okay, I love you, but I'm going to love you from a distance. And I'm going to go elsewhere and get what I need. It's as simple as that. That's what I'm getting. And because of that, she's getting her new beginning. She's getting her new beginning where there's truth, there's clarity, and there's someone coming in ready to be emotionally open and vulnerable. And ultimately, I feel like you're getting the person that's been manifested all along. Let's get a card for this new love universe, and we're going to wrap this baby up. New love. Shenanigans. Go slow. Some of you, this is a twin flame, okay? It popped out, so I'm going to say it. And then it says stability. So, twin flame stability. It also says denial in different pages. So, this person definitely, again, could have not wanted to make a choice in the past where they were in denial. You guys were on different pages. But I feel like they're telling you that no matter what you invest in, Go slow. Take the time to get to know one another and see if you're on the same page. If you feel like somebody is keeping something to their self, if your core gut is telling you, I don't know everything, guess what, baby? You don't. Trust yourself. I do not care what anyone tells you. If something feels off, it's off. Okay? Boundaries. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Let's get a divine message. We're gonna wrap this baby up. Give me one more for this person. I'm awakening to our connection. All right, Pisces. We're gonna leave that one here for today. Oh, Nine of Pentacles, interesting. Okay, we're gonna leave that here for today. <laughs> Have a blessed day.